the neck behind him in second place, and it's Sayo Zinka won the current eclipse. What a tremendous performance, a really marvellous performance by the Derby winner, Mill Reed. Running up towards the line, Alamanimo it is, as the most, Alamanimo wins the eclipse coach. Opera House is going to lift the tour and eclipse, this hill rallies close home, Opera House of this hill, and so to Opera House of this hill. Back close home is Smoke Contest, and Hawkwick wins the eclipse. My most memorable coral eclipse is 1987, not just for the horses that were involved, but also for the jockeys. Let's deal with the equine stars first. Reference Point was the first derby winner for nearly a generation to come from Epsom and try and cross swords with the older horses in the Coral Eclipse. He'd been a brilliant derby winner for Henry Cecil and Steve Cawthon, the Kentucky kid who'd made such a big impact on the UK racing scene. Up against him were quality older horses, led by Patrick Bianco's mare Triptyque, for whom Tony Cruz had struck up such a good relationship, and to a lesser degree were Toto, whose three-year-old career had been plagued by foot problems, but lined up under Michael Roberts. Nowadays, we take for granted the international nature of jockeys that we see on our doorstep virtually every day of the week, but things were far more xenophobic in those days. While Steve Cawthon had got his feet under the table and Tony Cruz had an international reputation, for Michael Roberts, things were far harder. South Africa, due to apartheid, had become something of a sporting backwater, and Michael Roberts' appointment to one of the top jobs in UK racing had caused quite a stir. So that was the cast of horses and jockeys that lined up at Sandown in 1987. It was a terrific finish to savour and a race that I think stamped the international nature of jockeyship on UK racing. They've turned it to the home stretch, just over three to go. Media star guest runs wide and reference point has it. Reference point from Bellotto in second, Billy Graham going in third. And Toto licks the rails, Chip Teak's going to have to find room. And it's reference point in the lead, with under three furlongs to race in the Coral Eclipse. Reference point has it from Billy Graham in second and Toto going very well. Chip Teak is going to be pulled to the outside to deliver her challenge. They've still got two furlongs to go. And reference point from Toto and Chip Teak on the outside. Billy Graham under pressure. Bellotto is Beaten, and they've got a furlong and a half to go. And reference point trapped now by Mtoto with Chip Teak hanging in behind them. They've got a furlong to go, and it's Mtoto in the yellow next to the rails. Reference point in the spots, and Mtoto comes to the end. Reference point, and Mtoto goes on by half a length. Reference point backs back, battles back. Chip Teak finishes well, but Mtoto beats the Derby winner. Mtoto beats reference point. Chip Teak. Great memories of another wonderful coral eclipse, but which is your favourite eclipse memory? From Mill Reef through the mighty Brigadier Gerard to the Super Philly Pebbles, and Toto Dancing Brave or possibly Pilsudski. The mighty Tough Giants Causeway, the brilliant Falbrab, the peerless See the Stars, or last year's hero, So You Think. Which is your favourite eclipse? Vote now at sandown.co.uk forward slash coral dash eclipse dash races and the best entry will win four premier badges a vip parade ring visit before the big race a wonderful experience in prospect for the winner of our fabulous coral eclipse competition